Hello, my name is Alex, and I am second. Oh, wrong video. <laughs> Let's try again. Hello, my name is Alex, and I'm here to share with you guys the orange juice of Cafe Monkey Munch. Right. Origins. 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 <laughs> Take two. Welcome to Cafe Monkey Munch. Hello, this is Alex from Cafe Monkey Munch, and I'm here to share with you the origins, the story, the making of Cafe Monkey Munch. We're about to go deep, yo. In the beginning, Cafe Monkey Munch was something that I feel God put on my heart from tender age of, 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 of probably four or five. I grew up in a, a very common Asian household where we were just forced, forced, coerced, <laughs> made to play either violin or, or cello, piano, you know, our parents had aspirations for us either becoming a doctor, a lawyer, you know, something in that field. And as I was unwillingly going down that route, I knew that there was just something inwardly stirring inside me that I knew that <laughs> this has got to be from God. I recall making my first cup of instant noodles when I was in the third grade and I just remember um, just taking those chopsticks and, and stirring the, those al dente noodles as they call, as they say in the uh, chef world, but just stirring those noodles and just feeling those, those, those aromas, those flavors, just that MSG really, really, really just made my mouth water. And upon the first bite of just you know, the, the combination of those noodles, the dehydrated vegetables, those, those dried carrots, those, those peas that really have no substance. Um, yeah, it was kind of undercooked, but I knew that <laughs> I think I'm onto something. So at that moment, I just remembered going to my mom immediately after just having that orchestra, the, that burst of flavors in my mouth. And I just said, mom, mom, I really finally found out what it is that I want to do in life. And I said, I want to be a chef, you know? And when I heard her response, guys, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry, all right? I'm just not gonna cry. I'm not gonna go there because I am at a place where I'm healed. I'm at a place where I'm good. Uh, I'm over it, I'm over it. <laughs> just telling my mom, I wanna be a chef. And she just said, no, you're gonna be a doctor. You're gonna be a lawyer. And I said, <laughs> <laughs> it was in February of 2020. This was before uh, COVID, the, the pandemic just really overtook our, our world. You know, we were set up. We had this 10,000 foot dirt lot. We had this vision, you know, of, of we had blueprints um, in our minds, but we're like, we're going to set up this huge restaurants you know we're gonna have tables we're gonna have chairs we're gonna have food we're gonna have like waiters and, and chefs and uh i don't really know what else goes into a restaurant but we had just this vision of something huge something bigger than us something beyond us and uh it's that damn covid that uh just none of this was able to happen and it's from that point on that we say you know what let's take this huge lofty idea that's so bigger and beyond us and let's just bring it into our house. Let's bring it into our kitchen. And um, even though I have no cooking experience uh, per se, I mean, you always hear me in the starts of my videos where I say chef. And you know what? I get lots of comments. I get emails. I get DMs and, and texts of people saying, hey, you should not demean yourself in that way. And you know what? I'm not going to demean myself. You know, I am a son of the most highest. You know, I am a prince. I am a royal priesthood. I you know what, I, you know, just like when Jesus got baptized, he said, this is my son. I am the son whom God loves and whom he's well pleased. So, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold up to that. In all seriousness, folks, you know, the, the, just the launch of Cafe Monkey Munch, it, it, it was, you know, just this comical idea that me and my wife started as we were just playfully um, experimenting in the kitchen. We have these little stuffed animals that we give them personas to. And I just said, you know what, let's, let's call our kitchen Cafe Monkey Munch. And from there, that just stuck on every single time we were preparing dinner or a meal. But um, you know what, I always had this dream of just starting a YouTube channel and just having this sandbox, this palette 
where I could just explore creatively um, in the culinary world, through culture, through food. And so here it is, we're just experimenting uh, week after week. Uh, we're trying different things, you know, we're failing, different lighting setups. I've, I've never really shot myself on camera. I'm always shooting myself for other people. That's what I've done in my whole videography career. But for just me to take a step out and to be in front of camera and to share with you guys just what we're learning along the way is really what this is all about. So thank you guys for joining us and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, there's a little bell icon where you can stay notified for the latest and greatest things happening here at Cafe Monkey Munch. Oh, and we just launched our Cafe Monkey Munch merch store. So from there, you can get die cut stickers, comfort t-shirts, uh, mugs, uh, hoodies even, hoodies. It's, it's so hot in Hawaii, but hey, we made hoodies. Um, but you know, there's, there, there's Little Monkey, there's Bear, there's Ferguson, AKA Fergalicious. And also, she's also known as Ferguson the Penguin. But if you want to go to our Cafe Monkey Munch merch store, we'll put that link on the bottom and just feel free to get to know our family through there. So thank you guys for joining us at Cafe Monkey Munch and we look forward to eating with you the next time. Thank you.